Hi, I'm Summit County Sheriff Steve Berry. Today we're going to talk to you a little bit about sex offender registrations. Some of you watching this video were convicted of sex offenses that require you to register with your local sheriff's office. During this video, I will explain to you your duties to register as a convicted sex offender. In the state of Ohio, it is the county sheriff's responsibility to monitor and register all sex offenders which reside within their local jurisdiction. My name is Inspector Holland. I'm with the Summit County Sheriff's Office. Today, in conjunction with the Adult Parole Authority, we're going to do compliance checks with local sex offenders. Prior to your release, you were informed of your duty to register via the explanation of duties to register as a sex offender form. ODRC staff forwarded your information to the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Identification and Investigation in the Sheriff's Office of the county you are expected to live on your release. You must register within three days of your release. In Summit County, you must make an appointment to register. To make an appointment, contact the Summit County Sex Offender Registration Unit at 330-643-8360. Summit County sex offender registrations are completed at the Summit County Jail, located at 205 East Crozier Street in the city of Akron, Ohio. When you register, you will be asked to provide certain information. The required information includes your name, any aliases, your social security number, your date of birth, current residential address, name and address of your employer and or school, your vehicle information, including the VIN number of the vehicle, professional licenses, a photograph, email addresses, and telephone numbers. We just uh, successfully completed uh, one compliance check. The offender is living at the address that they've registered, and they appear to be in compliance, and we're on to the next check. If your offense was committed after July 31st, 2003, you are subject to the 1,000-foot rule. This means that you are not permitted to reside within a thousand feet of a school or registered daycare facility. This distance is measured from the property line of your residence to the property line of the school. Those who violate this will be subject to civil penalties. If you fail to comply with the registration requirements, you are subject to a charge of failure to register and or tampering with records. Both of these charges are felonies in the state of Ohio. Every time you change your residential address, you must register the new address. We uh, successfully completed a home visit. Um, the offender is in compliance with his pro board source conditions. Everything's good. Address change registrations are in addition to your regular registration requirements. The Summit County Sheriff's Office works closely with the Adult Parole Authority to monitor the accuracy of the addresses where offenders are registered to live. It is important to reside at the address where you are registered. If you are found to be residing elsewhere, you risk both a violation of your supervision and new charges. The primary goal of the Summit County Sheriff's Office regarding sex offenders is compliance. Our staff will remain diligent to achieve this goal and to assist you with any questions you may have along the way. My name is Inspector Holland with the Summit County Sheriff's Office. What you've seen today is a typical compliance check done in conjunction with the Adult Parole Authority and the Summit County Sheriff's Office. We do these checks periodically throughout the year. Some of them are done randomly and some of them are generated due to citizen complaints and referrals. Hi, my name is Detective Scott Plymeyer with the Summit County Sheriff's Office. Today uh, was a typical compliance check uh, of our sex offenders regarding their registry. We did that in conjunction today with the uh, Adult Parole Authority. It's uh, my goal and the sheriff's uh, goal uh, regarding sex offenders uh, is compliance. But the one thing to uh, bear in mind as a convicted sex offender is the duration of time that your duties uh, are required to register. And we want to make it very clear that if you have any questions regarding your duties to register as a sex offender, don't hesitate to call uh, anybody at the sheriff's office. They can put you in direct contact with myself or Inspector Holland and we'll get those questions answered. With notification uh, regarding the sex offenders here in Summit County, when an offender moves or changes his address, 
uh, notifications are made to the neighbors uh, for where the individual is moving. Within a thousand feet, mailers are uh, sent to those residents advising them that a sex offender is moving into the area. Should an offender, and it has happened in the past, moves to an area and feels that he may be uh, being discriminated against uh, because of his sex offender status, we would urge that sex offender to contact his local law enforcement agency uh, because the Sheriff's Office does work in conjunction with all law enforcement agencies here in Summit County to achieve the same goal to uh, investigate or look into any allegations of uh, harassment or any complaints of that nature. For offenders recently released uh, from prison and re-entering society, should you find yourself on parole and would like to continue your counseling uh, that you most likely received uh, while in uh, prison, uh, don't hesitate to call your adult parole authority and more specifically your parole officer. They can provide you a list of uh, treatment facilities available to you as well as offenders that to find themselves not on probation or parole, uh, they can call the sheriff's office. I will research and uh, provide you with a list uh, of agencies that will provide you the service similar to what you received while in prison. Uh, again, uh, reminding the offenders that compliance is our, our main objective and certainly continual counseling uh, if you so desire. What you've seen and heard today from Detective Plymeyer and myself is just reiterating the fact of our ultimate goal of compliance. Uh, we work hard with our local partners of local law enforcement as well as the sex offenders that move into Summit County uh, and achieve the goal of compliance and make sure that everyone is safe. <laughs>